Welcome to my channel, The Fan Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks, and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet, and much more. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this triple decor base crinoline fascinator. Let's dive in. We would be making use of two different colors of big crinoline. They actually belong to the same color family. I would encourage you to be creative. Use one or more, but they should blend. For us, for A, we cut out two pieces, and for B, we cut out one piece, using the measurement on your screen. This is our 30 inches that we've cut out. We already have the 25 inch and the 20 inch already made. If you've watched our previous video titled Double Decker Base Crinoline Fascinator, you would already know how to make this base. But if, you've, if you're new to our channel, thank you for tuning in. Let's dive in. So we pull out the thread that is already on the crinoline. We squeeze it. As you're pulling it, it squeezes. So you have pulled it, you pull it tight. Then you start like a pleat. You pleat the two edges there. After you have done that, you tie the thread that you pulled out tightly around the edge. Once you feel it's firm enough, you can tie it the thread tight two three times to make sure it's securely knotted then you take your scissors and clip it at the edge the next thing you do is you take your needle and thread and you secure that tip more with it you can see how I'm taking it from down below the thread that I did round up and down again once you're done with that you turn it like that and you start folding it just be watching so you see how you fold and thread it can you see how I'm doing that So we're going to continue all the way till we reach the other end. Keep watching. You ensure that as you're passing in the thread, it's holding those places that you pleated on top. You must hold it, if not, it will loosen. Thank you once more for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for our newcomers. We love to see you over and over again as we learn together. So that's it. So I'm securing all sides. I'm done, so I'm not in the thread. Okay, now that's done. We'll get to the next thing. Here it is. Two bays from A and one from B. 
Not as something B has no tread, but A does. Have you had such issues? If yes, and you want to know how to work it, say so in the comments. Now we're going to be decking it up. So this is the way we're going to place it, one on top of each other. The biggest size below, the medium nest, and the smallest up. So that's 30 inches, 25, and 20. That's how we place it. Then you take your needle and thread and you start putting them together. You know the part that you folded in between when you were making the base? That's the way we're going to pass it through. So we're going to be doing like um, a circular sewing, as in sewing from one side to the other side, so that you can't see in between the two, as you can't see any holes at the tip. So when you do, you check it like I just did. Once it's okay, then you place the flower on top. I usually like to sew all my parts together. I believe that it gets it more secured rather than gumming. So only gum when I can't sew. So that's what we're doing right now. We're sewing the flower to the bases, the triple decker base. So you can see how I'm opening the um, flower below like this and grabbing it. I'm going to do like this all the way round. That's to ensure you don't see the sewing that you did on top and you also don't see um, that back part of the flower. I'd like to say a big thank you again to all my subscribers. I'd like to say thank you to you who just tuned in. I hope you're understanding the video. If there's anything you didn't understand, you can let me know in the comments. Then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yes, another thing. What would you like to see in our next video? What would you like us to make? What would you like us to um, confirm? As in, there's something you've been wondering how you can make or do. All right, now we're using a clip to attach to the base. You can see how we are sewing it to the base. You open the clip up take the thread inside and go underneath. Now, it's not only clips you can use, of course. You can use comb, you can use elastic band, you can use Alice band, depending on what you want or what your client wants. So, the thread was little, I'm not stopping there. <laughs> We have to make sure it's secured tightly. So you sew from almost at the edge of the clip to the other edge. That ensures that it's not dancing, it's firm on the base. So don't forget to let us know what you want us to do on our next video. If we can make it for the next, we'll then look at doing it the nest the nest but um well depending on the number of comments but we'll see which one we would attend to as soon as possible then also remember to let us know if there's any aspect of this diy that you didn't understand so that we'll clarify with you and any questions you have just put it down in the comment
so after that's done the next we're going to do is to cover all our sewing there to make our work look neat now that's where our thick poly piece comes into play normally I would have just cut a round circle so that it will cover every part but because I needed to get this tutorial out to you so that you would have something new to do and um, I had to just make use of the material that I had available and you know necessity is the mother of invention so I invented this double double piece gummy if I will put it like that so that we're using our B6000 here you could also use Uhu gum or if you like you use your candle gum to clip it there so we have to use two because I like all my threadings to be covered so you don't see any rough edges at all. Now you ensure if you use B6000 or Uhu gum, after you have placed it, you must press it down. You wait a while, you come again and press it down. But if you use candle gum, no need. Candle gum glues immediately it's fast so that's it so what we're doing now is putting this other flower piece that I have you don't necessarily have to do that but at least you get the idea the main thing is to give you the basics and then you become creative and do a fantastic one of your own if you do make yours I would really love if you can send me the message on my whatsapp is in the description if you check the description you see my whatsapp number so you could send me a message with a picture of what you did I would love to see it so you can see I'm going back to press it again to ensure it stays that it doesn't come off and I'll do the same with these flowers that I just put That is it, your triple thicker base crinoline fascinator.